In the diagram, the ratio A to B to C equals 1 to 2 to 2. Find the values of A, B, and C. First, we need to just decide what property we can use. So I see that there are no straight lines, so I can't use the property of adjacent angles. However, I can use the property of angles at a point because all of these angles share a common vertex right here. There are two methods to solve this problem. The first is being a bar model. So let's draw a bar model. So we know that a, the angle of A plus the angle of B plus the angle of C all have to add up to 360 degrees. So we know that because of my ratio I have for every one unit of A I'm going to have two units of B and two units of C. And all these together have to equal 360 degrees. So I have to count and see how many total models I, or units I have. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know that 5 units give me 360 degrees. So I need to find one unit, which means I need to take 360 degrees and divide it by 5 to get 72. So I know that A has to equal 72 because it's one unit. B is two units, so I have to take 2 times 72 to get 144. And C is also two units, so I will also have to multiply that by 72 twice to get 144 degrees. We can then check our work to make sure that these all add up correctly. So if I have 72 and two 144s all added together, 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 4 is 10, 8, 12, 16, I got 360 degrees. There's another method that I can use to solve this problem. I can use algebra. So I can use a variable to represent the measure of the angle. So B would equal 2A, and C would also equal 2A. And I know that the, angle, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C have to equal 360 degrees, since they all share a common vertex. So I have A plus B, and I can replace that with this 2A, because B equals 2A. And I can replace C also with 2A, and add these all up to equal 360 degrees. So A plus 2A plus 2A gives me a total of 5A, which equals 360 degrees. To get A by itself, I am going to divide both sides by 5, because 5 divided by 5 gives me 1. So I have A equals 72. I can then check each of my angles to find my values for B and C. So B equals 2 times 72, which gives me 144 degrees. C equals 2 times 72 which equals 144 degrees. And I know that A will equal 72 degrees. When I add all of these together, again, to check my work, I will get that these will equal 360 degrees.